So we're going to continue. Uh, we've got a few more, and one especially I'd like to talk about for uh, some of those uh, demonic things that come in the house, and this will be probably our last video about it. So mm -hmm. we're just going to hit just a couple more because, uh, like we said, they're endless, mm -hmm. and we just want to hit some that are we've come across or that are mm -hmm. Pretty in prominent in a lot of people. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And so one I want to hit is the uh, the religious spirit. That's uh, one of the big ones that uh, are in our churches or in everywhere we go <laughs> with mm -hmm. with people having that religious spirit. And it, it, it flows down the, the avenue of traditions of men, mm -hmm. you know, and the Jesus came in contact with that a lot, where they have a mindset and a stronghold built up to how things are done or supposed to be done. Yeah. And, and it blinds them or holds them in, into a, a place that they're not accepting to what the Lord wants to do because it's not how they're used to it being done. Mm -hmm. And Jesus actually said it's the traditions of men that nullify the Word of God mm -hmm. because they put their traditions ahead or they'll use their traditions to stop or to uh, impede what, they, what the Lord wants to do. So that religious spirit, and it comes in uh, under a lot of assets, a lot of facets like through the... the uh, the traditions of men and stuff like that but one of the ones underneath that religious spirit is a seducing spirit mm. and a seducing spirit is where they get that heresy or that other doctrines mm -hmm. that come from yep. and I remember uh, hearing a story from uh, a, a prominent preacher who was big in uh, deliverance where a seducing spirit came out of somebody and it named 37 doctrines that were under and each one was a spirit Mm -hmm. underneath and they were all in that person mm -hmm. and one of them came out and they were saying all these things you know like one of them was you know Seventh-day Adventist, Seventh -day Adventist or, yeah. or Jehovah Witnesses or Mormonism and one of them was uh, was uh, this is where he was astounded because he had spent some time uh, being a missionary in Africa in a certain part of Africa and so he knew some of the tribes and uh, some of the things that went on with the tribe and one of those uh, seducing spirits came out and said, I'm, uh, and he says, who are you? What do you do? And he says, I do fetishes and uh, uh, flowers and fetishes, or feathers, feathers and fetishes. And he says, I get people, and he goes, where are you from? He says, I'm from a uh, tribe, and he says, I'm from a place in Africa. And he'd been to that place, and he says, oh, what tribe are you from? Now, this person who he was talking to had no understanding, and you have to understand in, in Africa, in some places, like I think it's Uganda, there's 40, 42 tribes, and in, in Kenya, there's 36 tribes, something like that, and they're very uh, separate or segregated. And so to know them was like you'd have to spend time there. And mm -hmm. when he's talking to the spirit, he says, uh, I, he said, uh, what tribe, you know, does that? And, and I forget, it's the Bohuru or something tribe, I forget which one. And he knew that tribe, and he said, and what do you do? He says, we worship uh, flowers and uh, feathers. feathers, not feathers and fetishes, you know, like these, these things and that. Yeah. And he knew that they did, and that exact thing, that they worshiped them, and they would bring their cows over against rocks and all these things to walk them by to, to bless them or something like mm -hmm. that. And they actually held those things as, as a deity, you wow. know. And, and he said, well, he says, and, 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 and the, the demon said, and we, do, and we kill babies. And he said, well, what do you mean you kill babies? And the, and the demon said, well, we kill twins. And he knew that in that tribe, their belief that if there were twins, it was demonic and they would kill the twins. Oh, man. And this demon knew exactly everything. Like, we're, like and this girl had no knowledge, never been in Africa, didn't know any of these things, you know. Mm -hmm. But that spirit spoke expressly about, you know. Wow. And it was Amazing. a seducing spirit, mm -hmm. you know. So th these things were real, and they were mm -hmm. coming out of that girl. <laughs> and it was 37 of the name, and one of them said, one of them said was really neat. It said, uh, and it's close to home because I'm Canadian, and it said, uh, I teach Baha'i. Hmm. And he said, oh, where are you from? And the spirit said, I come from a nurse, uh, the head administrator in a hospital in this city in Canada. And he said, oh, now his daughter lived in Canada in that city. Mm -hmm. And so when the next time he visited her, and she knew people in that hospital. He said, do you know uh, who the administrator of this hospital is? And his daughter said, no. And he said, but I have friends who work there because she was a nurse. And mm -hmm. she says, well, can you call them and, and see uh, what this person's name is and if they teach Baha'i? Mm -hmm. And so she called them and she mentioned the lady's name mm -hmm. and 
the, the lady, uh, her friend, said, oh, no, she left about a month ago. She transferred to another place. He says, oh, he says, well, did she teach, you know, Baha'i? She goes, oh, yes, she taught it to everybody she met. She wow. loved Baha'i. Like, this demon, like, yeah, told, yeah. you know, and, and they had no understanding. Like, this mm -hmm. woman had no idea, you know. Mm -hmm. But that religious and that seducing spirit. So what they do, and, and when you read in the book of Timothy, you read about the, uh, where in First Timothy, it says, Now the Spirit speaks expressly that in latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Mm -hmm. And those seducing spirits are coming in and they're bringing false doctrines and false teachings, mm -hmm. doctrines of devils. Mm -hmm. and, and people are aligning themselves up under that stuff. Mm -hmm. And if you've got a doctrine, you know a doctrine works from the inside, not from yes. the outside. So if a doctrine works from the inside, it's, it's something you believe. That's right. And if yeah. it's a doctrine of a devil, where's that devil living? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's in that belief right. structure right. enforcing it. In, inside of you, mm -hmm. you know, and you're, you're adhering to it. Mm -hmm. So you get a lot of these belief patterns, or a lot of these uh, belief structures set up through that religious spirit or that seducing spirit that comes in and it convinces you through the doctrine of devils mm -hmm. or demons you know that this is the truth and you know everybody else is lying and you know you get separate I mean one of them mentioned was Jesus only I mean there's so many that this thing yeah. are 37 of them mm -hmm. and that man said that he had more uh, teaching he had more understanding being educated through that four-hour uh, exp what happened when all those things left wow. in four years of Bible college? Wow. He said he, you know, he said there was so much insight into mm -hmm. those things. You know what happened through that those thirty-seven spirits leaving that one lady underneath that seducing spirit. So underneath the religious um, spirit, would like there be like a spirit, like a false image spirit? Yes, that's really strong. Go mm -hmm. ahead. Yeah, I think I, we've came mm -hmm. across that one where. Yes. Uh, everyone seeks and worships God almost according to a certain formula or the way that they see God and they yeah. worship God, but it's... It was amazing because mm -hmm. I'm going to jump on there is that it, this spirit we were kicking out mm -hmm. came up and said that he is false image. Mm -hmm. And we, I said, or he says, oh, I'm in every church. Mm -hmm. And we said, you're in every church? He said, yeah, I'm in every church. And we said, and so what God started giving us the breakdown is that in every church there's this image that people adhere to to be like so if this, like a creed or something yes, like or, that or or something that is aspired to in the church mm -hmm. and what they do is they make that false image so let's say a church prays in tongues a lot let's say a church reads the bible a lot. or they prophesy prophesy yes. prophesy and, and everyone so, gives a word yes so anybody who mm -hmm. wants to be somebody in that place will adhere to mm -hmm. those teachings and and aspire to that false image mm -hmm. that now that I've arrived there I'm one of the elite yeah. I'm one of the mm -hmm. special ones I can now mm -hmm. share from the pulpit I can do all these things why because I've met I've every I've, I've, I've attained and I've that's yeah, right so I've now I ranks. can be in that false image and that demon said I'm in every church mm -hmm. and so it's amazing and you have to wonder and you have to think holy smokes you know and I'll give you one example is, is the worship team mm -hmm. So many people want to be on the worship team. Why? Mm -hmm. There's such self-glory in it, you yes. know? And, and so they'll do what has to be done to get on that team. So mm -hmm. they'll be a singer, they'll be a, a player, a guitar player or a drummer mm -hmm. or something, you know? Why? Because there's a false image set up there, mm -hmm. you know? Wow. And where does most of the problems in a church come in through? Mm -hmm. The worship team. Yeah. Because there's such a, I mean, most of the time you get people who run off with each other on a worship team. Yes. Because mm -hmm. why? Oh, we connect spiritually, you know. Mm -hmm. She understood or he understood me, you know, and, and, mm -hmm. and then they uh, have a commit adultery or they divorce and they leave their, their spouses mm -hmm. because of this spiritual connection wow. you know, that they feel with each other. But it was all in this aspiring to retain to this false image, you know, mm -hmm. that now I'm one of the... You know, mm -hmm. So it's like a, there's a spiritual false image in the recording before we talked about, like through Aphrodite, that there's a, like a self yes. image, mm -hmm. and there's also another image uh -huh, that, that the you, enemy tries that to. You aspire to, so you mm -hmm. can be that special one, you know, mm -hmm. and you can see it in, in where in the Pharisees. Yeah. And he drives that person too. Oh yeah, you know what I mean, I mean every Pharisee yeah. they had. What did Jesus say? Don't wear those big phylacteries, which are the you know where the scriptures are in the boxes mm -hmm. and all the your prayer scars and all these things to appear to be yeah, holy. That's like a false image. That's that false image. Yeah. So you. Even back then it was there, you know, mm -hmm. because if you were a Pharisee and you had all those things, you were looked up to. Mm -hmm. You had attained. Yeah. You had become part of that elite group. Mm -hmm. And so you got to be careful in the churches that yeah. everybody sets this thing up in their own church of how, what you need to do to become one of those elite, one of those, you know, who have attained. 
you know, it's like the, the you know, the Goyim and the, you know, the, the ones who are literate, the ones mm -hmm. who can, you know, who really help lead the people. And yes. everybody wants to be that person mm -hmm. who is, you know, it's in a false image. Mm -hmm. And he said, when he said, I'm in every church, you think, wow, that's right. Every church has that place or that thing mm -hmm. you try to aspire to where mm -hmm. you become one of the accepted ones, mm -hmm. one of the, the teachers, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The esoteric ones who wow. knows the secrets of the hidden mm -hmm. things. You know? mm -hmm. wow. Anyways, and that religious spirit, that one is very key. Mm -hmm. That it works in a lot of churches, and you have to examine in your church what it is you've set up as a tradition of men mm -hmm. that becomes a false image to people to reach, mm -hmm. and it actually stops the gospel or stops mm -hmm. the true yes. spirit of Christ. It's a counterfeit mm -hmm. type thing, and That's it's right. like we wonder why we can't break through, and it's because we're serving this with not even knowing. Mm -hmm. And what's supposed to be the true measure? Mm -hmm. It's relationship. Yes. It's relationship with our King, with our God, with our Lord, with mm -hmm. our Savior. And but we don't judge it by relationship. We judge it by an outside means that shows us how we've attained. Because I get to preach mm -hmm. from the front. I get to mm -hmm. play on the worship team. I get to you know. That's mm -hmm. why like when it comes to Sunday school, that there's not a lot of participants because there's not much glory in it. You mm -hmm. know, you yeah. become a servant there. You have to serve and help. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to something that has a lot of speak on yeah, stage, there, yeah, there's a lot thing. of aspiring to that because mm -hmm. hey, it, you know, I've attained. I mm -hmm. can preach now. You know. Yes. I want to be one of those elite. Mm -hmm. And so that religious spirit comes in. And